Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Erado Select Solutions and this is a problem that I have given in the resolved video where I discussed about the Bernoulli's equation and its application in a moving inertial frame. Okay, so I said as a follow up to that exactly not involving that concept, but I would Asked, uh, I would have asked my students to actually take up a practice problem from Mirado uh, as it is a very important uh, understanding for a JE advanced syllabus. Okay, so this was uh, problem number, uh, I think somewhere around 1.329. Okay, and we are uh, requested by Mirado to calculate the force on this exit pipe. Okay, so the language that he uses there in the question is find the horizontal component of the force tending to pull the tube out of the tank. Okay, so the uh, tube, if it's not attached here, it would actually get pulled out towards right. So he's asking what's the value of that force that is holding this particular thing. Okay, right. So that's the most important thing here. Uh, and the rest of the problem is in front of you. It's just a situation where the tank is getting emptied uh, through a pipe which is tapered and has areas of cross section at the start of its tapering as capital S and at the end as small s okay and the height of the tank is h which is given in the question okay so want to give it a try just pause the video here read the question all by yourself have a try and then we'll move forward okay so here's the solution and by the way we are going to look at two methods and also at the end of the problem I'll be giving you a very important trick that is required for any future problem of a similar kind of a tapered okay so stay back till the end even if you have known the solution so both the methods okay we'll start with the basic method the method which uh, most of the students should be knowing if those who have already solved this question before is uh, because he's asking the force that is acting on the pipe, right? So whatever force that acts by the liquid on the pipe here and the atmospheric force that is there, that subtraction of those two should uh, develop the force that is there with the contact that it has with the vessel, okay? So in a sense, the atmospheric force from inside and outside should cancel out because it will have the same value uh, of its contribution from inside P0 into these areas and outside also the P0 or P atmosphere into this area should be the same. So I think I can uh, actually take up the cancellation of the atmospheric pressure and solve the problem and still get the same answer. So that's what he has we have written here. So we'll consider only excess pressure that is there or ga gauge pressure as we call it. Now Bernoulli's equation between the cross section one that is the larger part of the tube to the cross section two which is open to atmosphere. If I use it would be simply excess pressure would be here right at, at this place the value of excess pressure is zero because it is at atmospheric pressure. So you could clearly write half rho v square where v is the velocity at some position here. Instead of taking it here, let's take an arbitrary position at one. Okay, so one is marked here and not here. Okay, so uh, the arbitrary shape here would have a circular cross section of radius small r say and velocity at that place is v suppose. Okay, so v plus half rho v square should be half rho v naught square. Where v naught using Torcelli's equation at the exit point should always be equal to root two g h remember this area of cross section is very small compared to the container which i have not shown in this picture okay right so root 2 gh is a usable formula and continuity equation between one and two should give you that the area of this cross section which is pi r square into v should be equal to area of this cross section which in the question he gave a small s into v naught and a small s i think i can write as pi r1 square and i'll substitute s back in the final uh, depiction because I want a ratio of R and R1. Okay, so I'm assuming this is R1. Okay, so when you combine these two equations and rearrange, you'll end up getting rho gh into 1 minus R1 power 4 by R power 4. Actually, I'm not much interested in this method because I'm more excited about the method 2, even though longer method 2 will have a lot of uh, understandings that you'll uh, go ahead in the method. So that's why I've skipped some of the steps here so as to be eagerly going to method two, okay? So there is quite a bit of substitution that you need to work around these equations to be able to arrive at this, okay? So I've combined them. The value of a capital F therefore should be equal to vector integration of the force that is acting here 
throughout the sections okay so since the force acts normal to the pipe area i have to take a component in the rightward direction right which would yield a sin theta component right you could see this is theta this would be a 90 minus theta with horizontal here therefore f sin theta so the value of that force would be pressure at this place multiplied by the area of cross section which is nothing but 2 pi r dl sin theta you all agree it's perimeter into this dl length okay so if this is l this would will be dl not only that you will realize that this r cross sectional uh, radius with a right angle triangle at this place can be written as l sin theta a simple mathematics okay so dr should be every dl into the same sin theta remember theta doesn't change across the taper so this dl sin theta i can nicely substitute as dr p could be substituted from this expression into this you'll get a r integration from r1 to r2 and you'll end up getting after substituting the r1s and r2s pi r uh, squares uh, capital s and small s in this fashion and you'll substitute the numericals given you get six newton okay so i've skipped a lot of steps of substitution here this is also a decently long method which i made it look shorter okay now let's go to method two equally longer i'm not saying method two is going to be superior but it will give a lot of insight into stepwise different problems that can be created from this and it could be a potential je advanced problem in general and even if it is not je advanced it's wonderful concept to be a part of okay so let's go ahead this is method two which will test your understanding of drawing free body diagrams of pipe and fluid separately just for the sake of coloring i've take the, taken the outside solid pipe as green color and the fluid that passes through it this is all fluid i didn't color it completely but imagine there is a blue colored fluid which is going out right now so uh, now i have drawn free body diagram of only pipe in this free body diagram there is no fluid please understand that and free body diagram of the fluid that is inside can you see that there is no pipe in this okay so we'll investigate these free body diagrams separately and that's where our concept building starts okay right now let's start with the fluid because we are more familiar with the fluid and then we'll arrive at the pipe okay right so once we start with the fluid you understand the fluid uh, part that i took within the pipe there is a left side where there is another fluid part which is pushing it and that's a pressure push force right it's a simple concept pn into capital s capital s is this area whereas our atmosphere on this side would be pushing with p atmosphere into s that would be another force not only that the solid liquid contact here would produce a contact force fc in this direction push is always a uh, in this direction and same fc on the pipes diagram should be in the rightward direction newton third law okay and that's it these are the three forces that are acting and is this fluid going to have net force equal to zero no what is the um, newton's second law equation for any fluid element net force should be rate of change of momentum of the thing that you're looking at okay so that you need to be very very careful about f net on the fbd of the fluid element should give you this not only that bernoulli and continuity equations between one and two sections should give you the same thing that we wrote in the method one p in minus p atmosphere from here to here should be half rho v2 square minus v1 square that's bernoulli's equation not only that continuity equation will give you s into v1 should be equal to small s into v2 that i have written and also v2 value you know is root 2gh where the exit velocity is dependent on only height of the water level in the vessel so these are the three equations i'll be using back and forth okay now what is dp by dt of the fluid we are still looking at the fluid dp by dt please understand can be written as dm by dt into and the exit velocity towards right minus entry velocity to uh, towards right why did i write exit velocity first because exit velocity is going to be stronger so the net momentum change of this system is going to be towards right which is interesting why did i be why was i able to take dm by dt common from here to here remember continuity equation is nothing but mass conservation right whatever mass enters per unit time should be the mass leaving per unit time but since this side the area of cross section is lesser it leaves faster therefore momentum which takes into account both the mass and velocity is not equal to each other so if someone asks you is entry mass rate equal to exit mass rate answer is yes but if someone asks you is entry momentum rate equal to exit momentum rate it's not therefore this system has a rate of change of momentum and that value i have written it has a vector value as dm by dt into a faster exit velocity minus a slower influx velocity towards right okay so i have got the rhs of this okay so from this equation now i'll borrow everything just carefully observe this 
okay so the value of p, uh, p in net force right what are all the forces towards right this is towards right so i'll put it in with a plus sign this is towards left so minus and this is also towards left by minus sum of all the forces should be change in momentum right of change of momentum i've substituted that okay now i'll use all these expressions into this at a later stage so i'll rearrange i'll get the contact force please understand this contact force is not the force with which the pipe gets pulled. That is one of the main important things that a JE examiner can target. The contact force between fluid and pipe is not the force that he has requested in the question. That you can understand by looking at the free body diagram of the pipe itself. Okay, on the pipe, what are the forces? The force on the by the fluid, which is a push FC this way, atmospheric pressure force would be acting on this tapered section. The cross-sectional area is from S minus minus s naught right so s minus s would be see pressure atmospheric pressure force would be a uniform pressure force funny any uniform pressure force the value of the pressure force would be ps p atmosphere into projection area just have a person watch from this side what would be the projection area he would be watching of this tapered section he would see capital s minus small s so that would be a push force these two won't be equal to each other. The force with which the fluid inside is pushing and the force with which atmosphere from outside is pushing will always be not equal to each other. And we, we would be able to justify that the fluid pushes more and therefore it wants to actually pipe if it was released from rest would want to move towards right. That's what That was what we discovered in the resolved uh, video, right? The video link, I'll put it in the I button here or in the description below. Just watch it. I have proved that this particular pipe will have a rightward net force. Since you have attached it to the cylinder, cylinder will apply leftward force. And this is the pulling force that he's asking in the question. This is capital F is, is being asked, not FC. Okay. Right. So a pipe is at rest. So some of all these vector forces should be zero. Okay. So the logic here is using the FBD of the fluid, we'll be calculating FC, get the value of FC, substitute in the FBD of the pipe to get the value of F. So it's as simple as that, okay, right? And we would not be using any integrations here. So coming to this, uh, from the liquid FB, FBD, I got the FC, the red colored one. Now I'll go to the FBD of the pipe. I'll borrow both these values and the FBD of the pipe below for your per result. So I stuck those things again here, can you see? Right, so if from the FBD of the pipe, uh, I'll end up getting the leftward capital F should be the subtraction of these two. I wrote it as it is. Okay, right. Now I'll add these two equations, the liquid FBD uh, thing and uh, the uh, solid FBDs or the pipe FBD here. If I add FC gets cancelled on LHS and RHS and one more term that gets cancelled is this P atmosphere into small s. Can you see that term? So P in capital S and P atmosphere capital S will survive and you end up getting a nice subtraction for which you can use this Bernoulli substitution, okay? And this dm by dt term that you have here, I've taken v2 common uh, consciously because I want one minus v1 by v2. This ratio is known from your continuity equation, okay? So that's the reason. What is the value of mass flow rate? Rho into area of cross section into velocity that I have written here. So this v2 and another v2 here makes it a v2 square. So all of this expression ready without integration. That's the beauty. Yes, it is longer, but we have avoided the integration. And also we now understand what are the forces exactly acting on the pipe and the fluid separately. And also understood the concept of exit rate momentum and entry rate momentum. Okay, so that's the subtraction and you rearrange, use these expressions here, you'll end up getting the same answer of six Newton. Okay, so the very important thing that you should understand is this dm by dt into v2 minus v1 should not be applied on the pipe. It is of the fluid. Some of the students commit a mistake of applying this number on the pipe. And dm by dt into v2 minus v1 is not the answer for this. These are the two things that you should not make a mistake of. Okay, right. So it involves all these calculations and that's why this is again as usual Eredo teaches us a lot of concept when you start doing the problems in multiple ways okay right and now comes the trick for any future problem when you combine the method one and try to understand the tapered section okay on this is the again the pipes fbd that i have drawn we all understood that the 
pipe at one side has, let's say I've changed the area to A1 because I'm more comfortable with capital A1 and capital A2 because it will be making our formula look easier. So the pressure on the starting of the tapered section is P1, let's say, and at the end of the tapered section is P2. We can actually estimate an average pressure using the integration in the method one. And it would be very exciting for us to learn that the average pressure on the tapered section comes out to be an a simple weighted average like this, like our center of mass formula. Okay, P1 A1 plus P2 A2 by A1 plus A2. You integrate and check, this would be the value of average pressure on this entire area. Okay, and which you can convert it into the velocity situation by using the continuity equation. A is inversely proportional to V, so A1 can be replaced with one by V1, and A2 can be replaced with one by V2, and cross multiply, you end up getting another relation, which can be used as a shortcut if at all someone asks you about the average pressure, okay? This is something that you generally won't find in the books. And it's also, it's not a formula. I think once you understand this, you'll understand how the pressure is varying along a linear section or a linear taper. Okay, right. So I hope you understood and got through all the points. And I would request you in case you are new to this channel, please go through the um, uh, Bernoulli's theorem resolved video in which we discussed whether Bernoulli's theorem is applicable in moving frame or not uh, through a problem. Okay, so please make sure you go through that and also the rest of the series that are very important in this particular channel. The uh, series names are on the screen right now. The links of these playlists are in the description below. So please make sure you go and enjoy those problems along with learning that you need for your JE advance. Okay. I hope you like this video. Do like that and share it with uh, people so that uh, I get more and more subscriptions and it would be a good encouragement for me to continue to produce more and more quality videos. Okay. I hope you would uh, accompany me in my journey to spread physics and its love to one and all. Thank you and see you in the next video.